Welcome to this Photoshop CS5 for Photographer Landscape retouching course. Hello, my name is Serge Romelli. I'm a French photographer living in Paris and I've been doing professional landscape for six years now. And over the years, I've learned various techniques which I will reveal in most of this course. We are going to do five courses. That is, if you buy and if you bought the full application, you will also get a link to download all the raw files I will be using throughout all the five different projects. So let's go over a bit what we're going to be doing. The first thing we're going to do is a pretty simple project where we're going to take this photo and through camera row and Photoshop's settings, we're going to go from this to this. Then we're going to take these two photos, which are two different exposures. This is a normal exposure and this is an underexposure. And we're going to blend both of them to get this result, including all the tools to take out any spots or graffiti on the walls. I'll go over in details all the, all the tools I've been using in Photoshop and Camaro to get this result. The next project we're going to do is take this photo um, of the arc taken in the Louvre and we're going to take this photo of, this, of clouds and come up with this photo as a result. It's a special technique where we're going to put drama into a photo to make like a gladiator Rome antique type photo. Then we're going to explore a bit some HDR by taking all the three exposure of the Eiffel Tower and then we're going to do some tweaks in camera roll before going into Photomatics, which is an HDR program to first get this result. Now, this is not exactly the result from Photomatics. Once it's out of Photomatics, we will do some more correction to Photoshop to get that result. And then we will do some more to get this result, a pure black and white. Then we're going to take three other exposures, which is the underexposed, the normal and the overexposed photo. And we are not going to use Photomatics or any HDR program, but we are going to use different Photoshop tricks to get this result. So we have a lot to cover. This is uh, all the textings I've been using for years on doing landscape photography. Thank you for buying this app. And I say, let's get started. 